Here's the thing. There are some watches that you take out of the box and you can like use your words to describe what you like about them. And then there are watches, and I never thought I'd say this about a micro brand, where you put it on your wrist and you just have to take a walk. Hey guys, I'm Max and this is Watch Crunch. So we have big news. After a year of hard work, the Watch Crunch team has finally brought us an app. And you can download this both on Apple and Android. And also I'm coming to San Francisco for Wind Up Watch Fair. So if you see me, tap me on the shoulder. I love to chat. This is not the first fair we've had on the channel and probably won't be the last. That's because every new model from them seems to get my mouth watering. The Ferrer design team definitely aced their exams in school because these watches just have amazing proportions and great colors and always bring something new to the table. Take this Burbridge Moonface. It's got a 38 and a half millimeter tono shaped case, only 10 and a half millimeters thick and 44 lug to lug. The dial is this cool arctic blue with a sunburst finish, but the star of the show, well, it's actually a moon a big full fat pink moon that takes up like half of the dial. That moon disc is hand painted on like a parchment paper type of finish. And this creates a great contrast with the shinier dial finish. And to my surprise, the moon is fully loomed, which just looks dope with the light turned off. A few fun facts about our loyal little satellite companion. The moon is tidally locked to the earth, a byproduct of being so damn close to us, meaning it doesn't rotate relative to where we're viewing it. And thus, we're always seeing the same side of this celestial body. And because of that proximity, the moon has actually been pulled slightly oblong shaped, having the nearer side kind of stretched outwards like with a suction cup. And if you work in a hospital, you'll know that nobody likes to staff the emergency room on a full moon night. And that's because people get a little loony. Yeah, loony, lunatic, lunar, get it? So the moon phase is operated here by a push-pull crown that also moves a well-crafted date wheel. I think the six o'clock position is where date wheels belong. I'm personally ambivalent about the date complication, but I know some of you guys think it's a must. But to me, if you're gonna cut a hole in the dial, then do it at the six for symmetry. Flipping the watch over, we catch sight of the Salita SW288, an elabor movement with custom decorations from Fair and 45 hours of power reserve. One thing I love about this watch and a lot of Fair creations are the small details, like on the crown. It's got a copper colored cap with the A logo. This one ships with a red full grain leather strap that's really kind of hefty and high quality, but it's a little bit loud for my taste and how do you say, a little bit O'Leary? But the other option with a mesh looks mighty righteous to me. The watch is priced at 1700, which I think is creeping up a little bit for Ferrer. It leaves us not much of a budget for two more watches in this $3,000 collection, but I think we can do it. But first guys, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you like these collection videos, uh, make sure you're subscribed and we'll get more of them dialed up for you. Now for just about 300, let's go ahead and add this NASA edition G-Shock DW5600 to the mix because I think even beaters ought to make you feel kind of special. Now we're all familiar with the G-Shock so I'm not gonna go deep into how to set an alarm to remind you to take out the trash. But a few little details makes this watch really special to me. It's got the NASA insignia on the dial, the full acronym is verbalized on the band and the keeper is an American flag. Lastly, if you hit the backlight, you get the earth motif watermarked over the display. This watch comes in a few variants with the black bezel version and I think more recently a full orange, like the color of those pumpkin spacesuits that the astronauts wore. So that leaves us an even thousand for something sporty, versatile, and how about travel friendly with a GMT that has 200 meters of water resistance? Enter the Jack Mason straddle timer. Now this isn't just any straddle timer, this is actually a Watch Crunch special edition. Yes, I personally helped to design it. So backstory, uh, a while back I met Peter, one of the founders of Jack Mason, 
and we got a few drinks one thing led to another and we decided to birth a bastard stepchild between watch crunch and jack mason and what followed was weeks of trading green pantones back and forth now if you don't know what pantones are it's synonymous for colors but for people with pinterest mood boards the straddle timer is a sub thousand dollar gmt that is built to the standards of some mid-tier swiss brands costing multiples more it utilizes the new miyota 9075 true gmt movement which means that the travel gmt movement allows you to jump the hour hand independently a feature that used to belong to only like the big boys of horology and jack mason will actually regulate these movements in-house to minus five to plus five a day and they tell me they're going to put a little card in each box that lets you know the specifications of that individual watch and this is an american company based in dallas texas hence the star logo and the counterweight on the second hand having the texas colors now how they can do all this at this price is beyond me the things that I love about the Strato Timer are its manageable size at 40 millimeters wide, only 47 lug to lug and about 13 thick. Now it might have a bit of Rolex Sprite vibes from afar, but the crown is on the right side and the teal color a la watch crunch is more playful. And there are a few vintage elements that sets this watch apart, such as the tonal shed case and a box sapphire that sits a good like mil and a half proud of the case. It's on a Jubilee bracelet with seven links across, that's two more than Rolex if you're counting. And the clasp even has a quick adjust like flip lock like system that just works. Details and Easter eggs that I can take credit for, at least partially, are the full teal GMT hand. We made the O in the straddle timer name, actually the watch crunch logo, a painted rotor, which is seen through a display case back. And last but not least, something very subtle. We did the hour markers in gum metal. Now these markers are big and visually my hunch was that by going with a darker color, it would help to hide their visual impact. Now in the metal, these markers, they almost vanish in certain lights, leaving only their loom centers. That makes the proportions just work better with the stick hands in my opinion. But if this colorway isn't for you, Jack Mason offers a few other ones like this root beer colorway. So I really want to thank Peter and Craig for giving me this opportunity. We're going to do 50 of these numbered individually on the case back. We will also include a watch crunch NATO with the same color combination in the box. And because I'm recording this on Earth Day 2023, $20 from each of the watches proceeds will go towards the Arbor Day Foundation, a vetted organization that focuses on restoring damaged forests. Now, if you're interested in one of these 50, your best bet is download the Watch Crunch app, come hang out with us, have a conversation. And when the watches are ready, I'll make a post on Crunch with a link to a special order page for us. So I'll see you there. And then I'll see you at Wind Up Watch Fair or in the next video. Take care.